Hey, welcome, I'm Michael and that's the Tech Bro channel. Uh, finally, finally we have some sunshine again. And this morning, I'm really excited because I have the chance to fly this. Finally, the Mavic Air is here. I've been waiting for 20 plus days, even though it was pre-ordered. Never mind, now the focus is on the new 4K Akins camera. It is meant to be the successor of the V8S, which was one of the most disappointing models of last year. And hopefully the H6S is going to do way better. You know, 6S, success, sounds like a good start. And whether theory matches the actual performance, I'm going to show you in the next few minutes. Let's start. Ekin did it again, but if I tell you what I mean by that, it will influence your perception, so let's stick to the usual agenda. Look at the box. We can read together about the content included. Do you think there's something missing? No? Neither do I. So let's take a closer look. H6S is another Ekin's model that carries on with the GoPro-style box experience with the huge difference that we actually get many accessories included. I'm just highlighting this tripod and the remote controller, which is by the way waterproof. Most of the budget-friendly websites will charge you 20 bucks for these only. And over here we get them as part of the just above 100 US dollars valued camera. It is meant to be a successor to the V8S and if you want to see what an action camera should not be like, head over to the V8S reviews I've done last year. Let's take the H6 out because it is on focus. I remember seeing similar warning stamp on another aluminum framed action camera a year ago and I referred to the SJ7 Star. We don't have the touchscreen here, which I as usual praise and find very positive and the rest of the features are also comparable with the SJ7 Star quality. No remarks from my side about the build. It belongs to the high-end action cameras that I have reviewed, clean and in style. So far good, Ekin. The sensor inside is Panasonic and the chipset is the well-known and excellent performing Umbrella A12S75. And indeed, we speak of true 4K here, with very good quality in fact, and image stabilization in its highest resolution. Sound is also OK, it is mono but with high quality and good frequency response. There's the three usual ports for micro SD, mini HDMI and micro USB. Having micro instead of mini means that the camera does not support external microphone or other USB attachable devices. But as mentioned already, the embedded one is quite good. Ekin's cameras have always had similar menu options across different models. We get no exception here. Being consistent can be good and bad at the same time. I will start with the settings. Unlike the V8S, there is an option to record 4K without stabilizing the image. Should we decide to use the stabilization, we sacrifice 5 frames per second and go down to 25 FPS, which is good enough. Most of the movies you watch are filmed at 24 frames per second. What you might miss here is proper slow motion. No 1080p 120 FPS, as other action cameras with the same processor can do, and no 720p. Slow motion options are completely missing. This is rather disappointing, considering the rich capabilities of this processor. Going further down, besides time-lapse, there are no other useful features. You cannot control the sharpness of the picture or color intensity. There is no long exposure photo option, let alone a RAW or other more advanced nice-to-haves. Meaning that if you are in a hunt for rich functionality, you better hunt at another place. Let's analyze the picture quality. This is of course the leading characteristic of an action camera and to my surprise, the H6S is a decent performer. 
delivers very sharp image with good color saturation. Only remark about red, it is slightly stronger than usual, but the picture quality is impressive. I can easily recommend this camera by classifying it as a very good one. Because of the high contrast, you may notice more noise in low light conditions, but when there is sunshine or daylight, the amount of detail is very high and it may go beyond your expectations from a $100 camera with remote controller, tripod and aluminum frame. If you decide to make it yours, make sure to get a few extra batteries because the stock one does not perform that well. Better order original Firefly 8S batteries, they have higher capacity and I've already tested them as compatible. Wow, have you recently seen that much snow? If not, say hello to the snow if you want. Uh, that's the weather. Uh, it's right now the end of February. It's really funny because a week ago, when I started this review, uh, it was shiny and the temperature was above 10 degrees Celsius. Right now it's 20 degrees below that level and it's really cold, but it's, it's beautiful. It's been snowing for the last 36 hours. And now the snow coverage is about 20 centimeters, which is not that much, but still very exciting. Now, at the beginning of this video, I told you Ekin did it again. What I meant was that uh, finally the Chinese manufacturer released another good action camera. And I think it's almost two years after their first really successful models. I believe the H6S is really the success of Ekin 4K action cameras for this year. Although this model was released at the end of 2017, but that really, really doesn't matter. The combination of hardware puts this camera very close to the uh, SJ7 Star with the TIT5E and the Firefly 8S. And I believe these are among the most popular models of 2017. The H6S surpasses them with offering image stabilization even at 4K, although just 25 frames per second. And it has this lovely, nice display on the front, which right now shows me that uh, the video is just below two minutes long already. I'm shooting at resolution 4K and I, I have the EIS on, which is, which is quite a nice thing. At any moment, you know what's going on with your camera. What we don't have, it's mostly related to the firmware. So the firmware wouldn't let us control the picture. Uh, you don't have controls over the contrast, over the brightness. Well, the brightness you could. I think there is exposure compensation, but that's pretty much it. You don't have 120 frames per second of any kind of resolution. So slow motion with this camera would be rather mission impossible. Uh, what we don't have on the photo options, so kind of the same, and over here we add the long exposure photo so I, I would say if there were more firmware features this was probably going to be the perfect camera you could buy right now for just around hundred dollars now i really am looking to your opinion can this one compare with the t5e by thei and I'm looking forward to hear about your opinion in the comment section below. If you like this video, maybe you can share it with your friends. Hit the like button and I'll see you soon. Cheers!